Okay, today we have a problem with the blower motor in this Samsung VIO 55 pod of the control flap in there fell off plastic old just fell apart it fell down inside this and it's hit the blower motor which is the bottom which has shattered at least one blade off and I've had to turn it off because if you run it now it just clatters loudly so the question now is to try and find out how this assembly comes out so we can take it apart remove the motor and clear out any crud that's in there and then see if we can get a new blower motor oh, I've just looked at the parts manual for it and it shows a different assembly to this I suspect the parts inside are the same but the actual assembly around so this is you can see this in light this piece here this closely open thing snapped off that top one now in here is the fan motor that I can feel mm. there's a blade missing there blade missing there broken bits of blade there so the question is how do we get this cover off right. oh, this, these screws go through into there and then there's a screw down here at the bottom that goes in Is there any more? This is either in the excavator and on top of it or outside and too far below. So, screws, screws there. How would you get at that? Oops, sorry, box the camera. We just chopped that top one off out the front. It's just they work by they don't actually screw into anything. What they do, whether or not this is in the frame, is it's a plastic inserty bit and the plastic screw goes in and expands that out, obviously clamping two things together as it expands it out. If that screw's screwed, um, the easy answer is to get a chisel, just cut it off, knock it through. This is obviously clamping the top on. Obviously the way to do is take the front window out and work from the front. While dropping everything into the miniature cup holder. Thing. and there's the offending item that's snapped off plastic plastic now Oh, 
behind the water bottle. Those are nice holes, which gave water bottles come out. This looks like two 10 mil bolts. Mill bolts it is. Oh god, smash the window. That out. Yeah. Uh, we need to put out, I guess. It does, but we can see. There are no further screws. It is on down there. And you couldn't get at those without taking this out. This comes up. spotted it. There is an extra screw down here at the bottom. I have no idea how anybody gets at that. I can do it with a very short stubby. Oh, and it's raining again. One thing I've noticed, excavators, cars, everything. The manufacturers seem to put the blow a motor in and then build everything else around it. Well, off camera, after it stopped raining, I uh, managed to get in with that little stubby screwdriver. This and remove the screw that's hidden into the plastic behind the water bottle right at the bottom. And with that out, this comes apart and just lifts off. without knocking anything else over this will lift out and now we see the assembly as shown in the manual so now we just need to get this blower assembly off which appears Hmm. Like it could come off with two screws. Two. Twelve mils. Oh, bloody hell. Yes. Lift the whole assembly off, and then we can take the motor out at our leisure. That'll be easier. Hmm. 14 years of dust. A proper WD wouldn't have gone on this here. See, I'm old school. I use spanners, not flash, not electric, <laughs> for everything. Right, 
screwdriver, we can poke this clip and to pull this plug out. And there's another cable that goes down there. Oh, that's a feed for the washer bottle, so that's not necessary. And this now doesn't move. Because oh, it's bolted in there as well. Alright. So. Perhaps we. See this fuse panel assembly. That's bigger than 12, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be 13 mil. So if we got 13 mil, took that fuse panel out. And then, this is 10. So these are 8. So we've got a 13 and an 8. 13, 14, 13 socket extension. And then 8. Might be able to just pull it out that way. Right. Plan B. So, partially right. 14 and 8. Good. Right, now let's have a go in with you. See if let's take the motor out. Screw driver. Screws on things. I did the undoing a screw and trying to think at the same time. When I did the uh, brake caliper swap on the trailer, the YouTube complaint was, hmm, can't see what you're doing. Yes, well, I'm doing my best to put the camera where you can. Give you an idea, at least if you want to do it yourself. You won't be doing the experimenting that I've been doing. Might save somebody a bit of time. So I've got an operator's manual and a parts book for this. The parts book shows this assembly but it doesn't show the plastic cover and that's what's taken all the time so to get that plastic cover fortunately underneath the plastic cover seems to be the same as this so here we go take that out oh. I bought this years ago when I was a marine electrician for getting into stupid tight places it's worth Every penny. Even if you can only get two fingers to it, you crank that nut, you can undo it. Because boats and cars that were being converted for mobility use, which is what I did in those days, they were all ridiculously tight for space. Right. Bracket comes off now because it's not held in place by anything. And the fan motor comes out. Yes. 
Yes, it does. Excellent. Send me up. Come on. Ah, oh, there's that screw bit I dropped. No, nope, it's this screw bit. There we go. So there's the fan motor assembly. It's just held now. Guess what? It can't come out because of this bracket. So this bracket does have to come off. So that's a 12. I'm going to have to get the socket because I can't do it with a spanner. So most of these sockets and this ratchet that I'm using I bought when I was 17 and had my first motorbike. So that's 40 odd years ago. So and they have been used consistently and a couple of sockets have rounded off and been shortened. Hmm, not this 13 mil store, isn't it? Um, they even had access to a lathe. But they all still work. And it's remarkable. They were, at the time, I don't assume come up. Kamars at all still exist, but they weren't an expensive brand at the time, they were just known as being okay and not rubbish. Well, 40 odd years of amateur and professional use and still working order, I'd say they were a good tool and worth every pound that they paid for them back in those days. Yay! And thus, the motor comes out. Ooh, it's a mess. There's a shrapnel from it. I was hoping it was one or two blades and I could snap a few off to make it balanced. If I snap a few off to make this balanced, there'll be nothing left. Oh, that's a dead thing. Huh. The question is, what happened to the plastic flappy valve? Because that's not in here. Anyway, that's it. Time to parts book and um, try and order a new one. <laughs>